Hello my friends, John Grufa here with another Unbiased Unboxing. And in this episode, we're going to take a look at Rebuilding Seattle. Heavy box, let's see what's inside. And as usual folks, please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't done so already. And if you have, thank you so much, I really appreciate it. Okay, so on the back, you kind of see a smidge of the game set up. Which is okay, I wish I could see a little bit more than they zoom in on these. But it just is what it is, I guess, these days. Making my incision here. I do appreciate they got the components listed right there. It tells about the solo mode, which is great news. Okay, and then lifting off our cover here. Nothing special on the inside. We've got a little Wiz Kids um, promotional game thing, what have you. All right, and then we have the rule book, which definitely doesn't seem like it's all that big. Mine looks like it got a little earmarked there all right so we've got the setup and then the round overview which we're already halfway through the rule book and then boom that's nothing that is a really small rule book so i'm guessing it's not gonna be that difficult to learn hopefully there's not a ton of edge cases or whatever we've got this um main player board which i'm gonna assume is you know be for your victory points and also for the offers for different cards and such and then we have just a very thick amount of medium cardboard punch boards so let's see in this regard what we've got here okay so it's the medium thickness which is good um, and it has that same kind of muted look, kind of like the artwork, you know, from turn of the century sort of thing here. Now, I did see this beforehand, and you're definitely going to have a more functional situation versus aesthetically pleasing, I think, in this game. And you could tell that right by, you know, you're looking at these buildings here. Um, the blue, for instance, is entertainment building, right? So they're, they're pretty drab. There's no doubt about it. They all have someone dancing on it. Um, whereas, you know, the green has the money icon. So not going to be anything super special with regards to looks, which is a little bit too bad. It would have been nice to have a little more aesthetically pleasing artwork. Hopefully it'll look crisp and sharp as you, you know, get to playing it, though. Certainly plenty of components. And then we have all these landmarks here that have kind of a old-style look to them. <clears throat> That's weird because I thought this was... You know, 18, what does it say? It says, reconstructing the Emerald City after the Great Fire of 1889. But yet I see, um, obviously, a plane here. So it must be it uh, reconstructs over a long time period. All right. So then they do have um, your different player boards having, I guess, different setups. So it is um, asymmetric there because you had the waterfront and you have the Pioneer Square which is different. Each of these little tiles here is slightly different than the other ones. Not by a ton, but slightly. It's not going to be hard to punch them. They're already trying to punch themselves. All right. Maybe they aren't even different. They're, maybe they are the same, as a matter of fact. Okay. So that's what we got here for all those punch boards. And then we have a big bag or three for or more for some of the components. And we've got our first bit of cards here. Let's see how the quality is. These are nice and I guess these are medium thickness. There's they're not too thick, not too thin. I'm they have no texture on them, but I'm gonna be sleeving mine. You probably don't have to if you don't want. Um, so these are some different event cards here. And then you've got the landmarks. So these are all special and unique, depending on which ones you're building. And I don't know if they're all used in the same game or not. Okay. Then we've got smaller cards here. Which most likely will have to do with the different rounds and maybe the different buildings you can build, etc. Of course, I have to open them up to be able to show you what they look like. This is being a little more frustratingly difficult than it should be. Okay, so cracking 
this open now. Perhaps. There we go. Okay, so these again are smooth also. And you see the artwork is, is pretty functional, right? It's like this and this and tells you what to do. Um, but yeah, I, I would agree. The game itself looks kind of bland and drab. I don't mind it if it's a good game. And the way I looked at it, it looks like it is going to be a good game. It has the things that I like in an economic style game, which this one seems to be touted as. So I'm looking forward to that. It's not that it's unattractive, I guess, from the artwork. It's just, you know, it doesn't, it's not, bre you know, brimming with beauty, I'll say. But the cards at least tell you what to do, which is a big plus. I don't have to worry about a ton of iconography or things like that. It's pretty self-explanatory because it's in English. Appreciate that. And then we have some of our wooden components here. Three different colors for the quality tracks. And then some smaller things. You've got little stars and little meeples and very small discs, etc. from that side. That's about the size of it. So thanks for watching, everybody. Really appreciate it. Whatever you decide to do in the future, hope you have a fantastic time doing it. Take it easy, everybody.